Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. Today's video is entitled Retrospective Planning Approval for Septic Tanks. So what is retrospective planning approval? And if you're a septic tank owner, why is this video of great importance to you? Well, let me explain. On the 1st of January 2020, the UK government changed all the rules and regulations in this country regarding septic tanks. Now, if your septic tank was installed, right, before 2015, it now needs what is called an MOT certificate. Now, it's been estimated that about 90-95% of septic tanks do not have this MOT. Okay, so that's the law as it stands, that's the situation as it stands. Now, the UK government basically have passed all the powers on to your local council. So if you live in Cheshire, the local Cheshire uh, County Council will deal with all the septic tanks in their area. If you live in Shropshire, all the uh, the main county council and then all the local county councils will deal with the septic tanks in their area, etc. And the they've now got powers, right, called retrospective planning approval. So that means that they can now send um, a building uh, inspector around it, one of the council uh, inspectors from the planning planning office and they can basically come to your house and if your septic tank is older than 2015 they will ask you or ask to see the MOT certificate well of course you know as we said 99 uh, 99 95 percent of people won't have an MOT certificate so what they will then do is get you to apply for retrospective planning approval. It'll cost you 400 quid. You'll then apply for planning approval for your septic tank that was installed before 2005. And the chances are you won't get it because only new septic tanks come with this MOT certificate. Now, the MOT certificate is called an EN12566. OK, and so it's a bit of a catch-22. So the reason I've done this video is because I want to show you how to pass, right, the retrospective planning approval, right, laws, without having to spend out thousands and thousands of pounds. All right, so if your septic tank was installed prior to 2015, what can you do? Well, let me show you. You've got three options. Option number one. You can get a company in right, to give you a quote for a new system. Now, if you live right by a stream, a river, a brook, a dry ditch, right, or you live in an SPZ zone, then the only system that you can put in is called a domestic sewage treatment. I've got enough room here. Treatment plant. That is your only option if you live by a stream, a river, brook, dry ditch, or an SPZ zone. Now, I recommend you get three companies around, right? And they'll all give you, obviously, an individual quote, but you'll find that the quote will be anywhere from 15 to 18,000 pounds. Get the company in, they'll put one of these in for you and you will pass retrospective planning approval and you'll get an MOT certificate, right? You'll get one. So we can put MOT there. So that's a popular route that many people go down. Route or option number two. This is probably um, an even more popular route that people go down. And that is to, if you don't live by a stream, a river, brook, or dry ditch, or an SPZ zone, you can 
uh, put in a new septic tank and soak away. Now, again, I recommend you get three firms in. You'll find they'll give you a quote from anywhere from 12 to 15,000 quid. And they'll put a, a nice system in for you. They'll give you a new tank, a new soak away. And again, you will pass retrospective planning approval for, the, for, uh, for septic tanks. You won't have to have the government inspectors come around and make you jump through all these hoops, filling out all these forms and then do site inspections. If you, if you get a company to put a septic tank and soak away for you, they will give you, you'll get your MOT certificate. So that's option one, option two. Now the reason I've made this video is because I want to show you how you can still pass retrospective planning approval, right, for your septic tank without having to pay out 18,000, 15,000 quid. And that's option three. Now, many companies won't tell you about option three because they can't make and they don't make any money from it. And that is something that the government's pushing and promoting at the moment. It's called an ecosystem septic tank converter and basically it's a small black box right and um, it looks something like that they're made in Germany and basically if you've got an old septic tank that was installed prior right to um, 2015 they will give you a government MOT certificate which will get you to pass uh, this retrospective planning approval right and it'll make your old septic tank legal so if I just put here this box here look if I put black box this German black box makes old septic tanks legal all right so there you go and you're going to ask me now how much does this black box cost well let me start by telling you right it's at least right here we go and and this will blow your mind right it's at least right 15 to £10,000 cheaper than option one and option two. These actual black boxes, they're 2999 And they're nuts. So the government are pushing these at the moment because basically you dig a hole near your old septic tank, you put one of these in, and it gives you a government MOT certificate, right? So what does that mean in, 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 in realistic terms? Well, it not only makes your old septic tank legal, it means you automatically pass a retrospective spec. I'll say that again. I've got my teeth in. It, you'll automatically pass a retrospective planning approval laws for septic tanks, and right, you'll get to save fifteen, ten to fifteen thousand quid. So there you go. There's just a small tip. Well, it's a big tip actually, of how to make your old septic tank legal without having to, as I said. You know, so if you, you know, spend out all this money. So if you look, if you if you're about to sell your house, then this flags up because the solicitors representing the people of your house will ask to see your MOT certificate for your septic tank. They'll say, "How old do you tank?" Oh, um, I put it in. I don't know, ten years ago, oh, two thousand. Yeah, can we see your MOT certificate, please? Well, of course you won't have one, will you? Um, when the COVID nineteen uh, dies down, the local council from the planning officers in your area, your county, will come round. Um, and say, look, how old's your septic tank? Uh, was it put in before 2015? Yes, it was. Okay, well, we need you to fill in this. We need you to do this. It bypasses all that. And uh, as I said, these are made in Germany for the UK government. And um, as I said, not many people will tell you about them because <laughs> they can't make any money from it. I just love helping people for free, giving them free advice. That's why I do these videos. So when you get five minutes and, and you're on the internet, just type in ecosystem septic tank converter and you'll see more information on Google 
about it. So listen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to see more free videos, get more free tips, more free help and advice, then just go to septictank.co.uk or, right, if you go into Google and type in septic tank TV, right, you'll see my YouTube TV channel there, right? And if you subscribe to it, you'll be in with the chance to win a free ecosystem septic tank converter, which will make your old septic tank legal. So listen, once again, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.